I mean, things have been going great, huh? Ready? Let's see what's gonna happen now. It's that next man up philosophy. And take the basket first. It's not about what you can do individually, it's about what you can do collectively. So the last time we talked, it was great, but this is better because we've moved forward and it's about to start for real. Yeah, we're, we're excited about the season, but we're really looking forward to this next challenge, what's coming in the playoffs. And I'm very proud of the team, the way they worked all season long. And now to be in this position is a byproduct of all the hard work and sacrifice that they've put into it. Uh, but this challenge will be a lot different. And I think that people don't understand that you just want to have a chance at that, to get into that group, to have a chance, and then we go from there. We'll see what's going to happen now. Right, and we talked about that at the beginning of the season, to build the right habits over the course of the year, concentrate on daily improvement, and be focused on playing our best at the end to give ourselves the best chance that we could have going into the playoffs. So that's where our focus lied all, all season long. And uh, now we have that opportunity and now continue to get ready and hopefully we've built the proper habits to, to have success in the playoffs. That, I want to talk to you about those things because those are the kind of things that you have things around your team that you bring to the team in, in terms of guys buying into team first. That's one of them. Explain that one. Yeah, and I think to have a successful team, your team has to be connected and there has to be a willingness to uh, sacrifice together to work hard together, to play smart together. It's not about what you can do individually, it's about what you can do collectively. And so some guys have sacrificed uh, starting, some guys have sacrificed fin finishing, some guys aren't currently in the rotation, and everyone has put the team first. And when you get a group that's willing to do that, good things come from that. So that leads me right to the next one that you do. It's that next man up philosophy. I love that one. Explain that one. Yeah, so no, and you know, you have you have 15 guys, and there are, you can't get here without being a great talent. So over the course of the season, everyone gets an opportunity, and so really proud of our guys all season long, because we had guys that Obi got hurt, and Jericho stepped in and played really well for us. Jalen was out, and Quick came, stepped in, and he played great. And Julius was out, and then Obi stepped in and, and started, and he played really well. Isaiah got going when Mitch got hurt. So we had a number of guys step up and, and now we have the whole group that's tied together and that they've all had experience playing with both groups. And I think that's been very helpful for us. And then expand that whole thing about the team. It's a team. Right, team first. And even the guys that aren't currently in the rotation, they come in early, they stay late, knowing that at any time you could have an injury, an illness, foul trouble, and they can be thrown in there uh, and to be ready, so they have to stay ready. And along those lines, you, you see that when they're not in the game, they're, they're into the game. They're encouraging their teammates. It's a very together group. I'm proud of that. It's a very disciplined group. Proud of that as well. All right, I got these things called tibisms. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is build each day. We just got to build each day. That starts in training camp, but how do you, uh, how do you build that throughout the season? Yeah, I think, you know, each day, and I always felt that if you put everything you have into each day, you'll never feel pressure. We all really only answer to ourselves. Only you know whether you're giving everything you have to something. And so when you get a group to do that, good things, there'll be growth. And sometimes when, you, when you're going through it, oftentimes you, you don't realize the progress you're making until the end when you look back and you say, geez, we're a lot better than we were at, at the beginning. And it's, there's small steps that you take along the way. Uh, each day you start at a zero base, and sometimes you may have a bad day, but the, the key is that next day you come in and have a great day. You can't have two bad days in a row, so. I, lo I love that, man. Here's another one, magic is in the work. I really do believe that. There's no shortcuts to this. I think the guys that do take shortcuts, at some point you'll see it. Uh, but if you're willing to make the commitment that it takes to be excellent at something, there's a willingness to sacrifice. You give a lot of things up, but if you're willing to work hard, good things are gonna come from that. This one, I love more than all of them. Winning is more fun than fun is fun. That's, that's bam. <laughs> Winning is way more fun than fun is fun. So 
make sure we're taking care of business. Yeah, you know, sometimes I think people get lost in that. I, I, I always say, don't get it twisted, you know, because <laughs> yeah. when you think back to the most fun that you had, it always was a byproduct of the winning that you did. You know, and sometimes, you know, people put the fun part first. Now, the, 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 the commitment is knowing that you put everything you have into something, you care about your teammates, you care about the team, and you've gotten the most out of each other and you've not only made yourself the best you could be, but the more important thing is making the team the best that it can be. And so I think when you do that, you're gonna feel good about that. You know, people, it, they get lost in thinking that they win because, uh, you know, they went to a party. You know, that, <laughs> right. you know, go to the party after the win, I'm all for right. that, you know, but <laughs> don't get it twisted. How? exciting is it to be back in the playoffs? I think, you know, the, it's the best time of the year. Like, if you love competition, this is what you, this is what you do it for. You know, you want to have a chance. It's like, it really doesn't matter what, you know, the so-called experts say, what they think. The only thing that matters is what we think. Yes. And so we've earned the right to be here and now put our best foot forward. That's it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man, it's, like, it. it's like shooting layups with you. <laughs> that's right. No, man, that's all good stuff, though, man. That's really good stuff.